Hey everyone, Noah here, and welcome back to the channel. Tonight I'm going to be imaging the Pinwheel Galaxy M101, and tonight is special because I got my new camera, the ZWO ASI 294MC Pro. So tonight I plan to image M101, the Pinwheel Galaxy, up until about midnight when the clouds roll in. Hi everyone, I'm back outside about a week and a half later on Star Wars Day, may the 4th be with you. And tonight I'm out again because last imaging session was unfortunately a fail because I used my dad's Red Cat 51 telescope, which has too little focal length or magnification to do my target justice, which was the Pinwheel Galaxy M101. It just, the image didn't turn out very well and there was no color at all. So tonight I'm back outside with my Celestron 130 SLT telescope and my new ZWO ASI 294MC Pro camera. And tonight I hopefully will get a better close-up view of the Pinwheel Galaxy with my Celestron 130 SLT telescope, which has a much more modest 650 millimeters of focal length. So tonight my plan is to image the Pinwheel Galaxy, also known as Messier 101, in the constellation Canis Venicici, which if you don't know, is around where the Big Dipper is for contrast. The Pinwheel Galaxy is a spiral galaxy around 20 million light years from Earth. And an interesting fact is that light has been traveling for 20 million years. So when I capture it with my telescope, that light is 20 million years old and it's reaching my sensor, which is pretty cool to think about. If anyone's wondering, I use this little bin here to hold all the camera connections and cables for electricity. And I even have some t-shirts in here for t-shirt flats and a level for leveling the mount. And this whole bin here just keeps everything away from the dew. And it, all, it just keeps it in one whole spot so I don't have to worry about wires snagging or anything. Hey everyone, I'm back inside and I thought I would tell you a little bit about my new camera, the ZWO ASI 294MC Pro. So this camera is a cooled astronomy camera. And what that means is that there is cooling within the camera itself that reduces the temperature of the sensor. And you can reduce these temperatures to like 35 degrees Celsius below ambient. And this really helps with the noise and reducing that grain in your final result. And this camera also has an 11 megapixel micro four third sensor with 4.63 micrometer pixels. So this per camera perfectly matches with any telescope with a modest focal length of about 600 to 800 millimeters. But you can also use this camera with lower focal lengths like 250 millimeters or 400 millimeters. Hey everyone, I'm outside and I got everything set up. Right now the scope is pointing toward the Pinwheel Galaxy M101 and taking five minute exposures at gain 121. And I plan to run this all night long because it looks like it's gonna be clear all night. And I think I'm gonna wake up in the morning and pack everything up. And make sure you stick around for the end of the video to see my final image. This is Noah wishing you clear skies and may the fourth be with you. Clear skies, everyone. <laughs>